All right. Good morning, everyone. I am currently driving and looking for compositions before the sunrise here. I have a few spots in mind, but we're trying to get around from where we slept to the other side of the mountain because that is where the morning light is. Um, so that's our current plan. That's what I'm trying to do. I will see you guys hopefully in a little bit. We found a possible composition, but I don't even have my camera set up because as you can tell, the haze is still really bad, uh, just like yesterday. So we're gonna do what we did yesterday. We're just going to look for compositions that are smaller, more compact, less grandiose, and more uh, minimal. That'll help us fight those issues with the haze. Uh, it is a beautiful morning and uh, I got no complaints, except for the haze. That's bad. But uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully we find something for this actual beautiful sunrise light that we did not get yesterday. So, all right, let's go. Found ourselves on another county road. As you can tell, the light is fully up and over the mountains, that red light is gone. And on the way here, I jumped out of my car a few times, tried to take photos that worked with the haze in the mountains. And I genuinely think a quick panorama that I shot right, right as the sun was peaking over the mountains actually will come out. Uh, it's a very layered shot, very minimal. Um, but it's really one of those photos that I think ties to a room really well, if you're thinking about printing. Uh, and I'll put that up on the screen now so you guys can be the judge of that. Uh, I'm not sure it came out, but I think with how it looked, it would look really good in a, in a room. Anyways. The shot we're trying to take now is, as you can tell, there's some aspens in the foreground and mountains in the background. Pretty simple composition, but the only problem is, once again, the haze. I'm trying to work with it as much as possible. Maybe some high key kind of photos where the haze creates these rays of light, but it has been difficult. Um, I'm using a polarizer, ISO 100, F8, typical, uh, shutter speed based off the light, and uh, just a single exposure. Uh, I don't think it'll come out anything crazy. There's no clouds behind the mountains. And again, the haze is pretty bad, but just glad to take a photo. Yeah. All right, so we've been driving a little bit of off-road out in the middle of nowhere, 
and I've come to a composition that I think might work. It's a road shot with aspens all along the side, and the sun is peering through just a little bit here and there. And what's special about this shot is that I'm shooting at f16 to try to get those sunbursts to look really crisp. The challenging part about the shot is that because the sun is rising, the light is moving farther and farther back in between the trees. So where you see the light on the ground is constantly changing. And I'm trying to keep the same composition to get that road looking really good in the shot. So I'm, every time I take a shot, I have to move the camera a little bit. The other challenging thing is, I don't want the sun to just be full right into the, to the lens. I want it to just peer past a tree. And that'll give me a smaller source of light and with that smaller source of light, it'll make those sunbursts look better. If I just shot the sun direct on, it'll look terrible. But if I try to aim the camera just in the right spot, I'll get perfect crisp uh, sunburst. So I'm gonna keep taking some shots and hopefully we end up with something. Alright, so as I was shooting, I really wanted to try to capture more of that, the color out of those aspen leaves. Normally a good way to do that is to add a polarizer, which I did. The only problem is, because I'm shooting directly into the sun, normally a polarizer does a really good job at cutting out haze, because it turns off reflected or refracted light. However, when you're shooting directly into the sun, it doesn't do that very well, because there is no reflected light, you're shooting right into the sun. But there are, there is a little bit of reflected light on those aspen leaves, so it might help, but judging by my uh, viewfinder, I can't tell very much. So I'm gonna shoot with it anyways, because I think it'll create a better effect if it does work, uh, and it's already on there. The other thing I've done is, instead of shooting so wide, I've zoomed in a little bit, and uh, I'm shooting close to 35 millimeters, probably 30 millimeters right now, and again, just trying to move my tripod back and forth to find that perfect sunspot, so. Maybe those will turn out. I'll try to show both of them to you so you guys get a perspective on both images. One of the problems with shooting with a hat is I can't look through the viewfinder when it's uh, facing forward. And I have to wear a hat because I haven't showered in a couple days and uh, yeah, my hair, <laughs> crazy, so. All right, I think that's it. I'm done uh, done shooting the shot. Time to look for more stuff. Hopefully they turned out.
Okay, the day has passed. I think the last time you saw me, I was shooting a road, I think. Uh, you may have saw some off-roading stuff. I've just been driving around, took a little breather today during the afternoon when the conditions aren't perfect, and uh, kept scouting some locations, uploaded some files, got some internet. I took a shower. That was, <laughs> that was nice. But um, we're back to where we were the previous episode in the morning. Uh, I really think the, sh the composition and shot is strong if the conditions are right. Uh, however, two things. One, sunset, eh, I don't think it's going to happen. Sunrise is what the objective is. I'm camping right there. The other thing is that people have camped right in the spot I was planning on shooting, but I think we can make it work. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I think, judging by this morning's conditions, I think conditions here will be good. So. If you guys don't see me until tomorrow morning, or I guess next episode, I hope you enjoy it. And if we, if you do see me, that means we're taking a sunset shot, and that's even better. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.